What's up guys? So it's it's been a little while, but we're back for another episode of That's PDG Approved. And on this episode, we have the Innova Polecat. So this is probably the most uh, just like popular disc for the time that I am doing the video. The Halo Polecat was a meme for so long, and then it's about a month later, but April Fools, Innova actually created a Halo Polecat, and now they've been putting them into production so I feel like it's a very popular disc right now and the reason I'm looking at it is because of the rim the rim is pretty much like straight down which no other disc has and just like a deep like a bowl almost on the inside nothing special about the top it's a normal top it's just got that straight flat rim on it it's deep and the numbers are one three zero zero let's see how it flies all right for this we're gonna do six holes at brookwood park um, i'm gonna try to do a backhand forehand because of the flat rim i want to try a roller with it and then putting with it so around hole one it is 210 feet straight down the hill let's see how it flies all right hole one 210 feet we're gonna throw the backhand nice little easy turnover shot smooth flight just kind of followed the line I put it on I'm really excited for this disc just missed the butt so with the putt I'm not a really fan how deep it is uh, it makes my hand a little uncomfortable but it's a very glidey putter, so when you, you kind of don't have to put that much effort into it, and the disc just kind of floats to the basket. All right, I'm going full power drive backhand with it. It just glides in the air for so long. It's a really fun disc to throw. This is really where I think the pole cat can shine. On this like longer putt where I don't want to jump putt, I feel like I can just putt it up there and it should just glide right towards the basket. Well, I did what I said I was gonna do. I just missed it. On a par. I'm on hole three. Uh, just heads up, it's like 95 out here and this disc is getting really gummy. Don't know if that's gonna affect the flight too much, but just wanted to give a little warning. Um, so I've been doing power grip, but this time I'm gonna try to do like a little fan grip. 150 feet, see if I can get it in. It's just so straight. All right, due to some technical difficulties, uh, it's so hot that my, my phone literally had to stop working for a little bit. Um, we're gonna do the rest of the video about right here in the shade, and hopefully the phone survives. So, you just saw a backhand power, or a fan grip. I'm gonna try a forehand and see how it goes. just it went straight again that's just all it does it, I would expect it to turn over with how blunt that edge is but no it just went straight no flutter to it wow a lot better disc than I thought I've like never thrown this disc before today all right and then for the last throw we're gonna do a forehand roller just because I think it's the closest disc to a wheel so, I mean, they're all circles, but to a tire with how thick it is, let's see how it goes. That 
I went a lot more left quick than I thought I would, but I've been, it's always nice to have those putter rollers where they can get around a corner really fast, so good use. On to another unique putter, I have the Polecat from Innova. This is a, it's a slow flying disc where uh, if I want to throw an approach where I need touch, I'll use the Polecat. Or if I want to throw an approach where I want power, I'll throw the Berg. So it's a really, really good complement. I think the Polecat is something that is just a really fun disc. It's kind of a get out of trouble. This won't get thrown much, but when I need it, it's going to be awesome. No nerves in that play for Alden. A little pop up there. True pitches over with the Halo Polecat. Probably getting ready for the Polecat World Championships, huh? Right, yep, it's coming up. <laughs> Two Mondays, something like that? Yes, sir. Oh, 